hello everybody. So uh, we start right now. Just, just before the, to start the, our explanation about the blockchain. Uh, so welcome in this uh, in this webinar about uh, how blockchain will accelerate innovation. Uh, just uh, information about logistic. Uh, we will discuss together with Amen uh, during um, twenty. F uh, 40. No, 30, uh, 40 minutes, and uh, after this um, this time, you will be able to 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 ask some questions through the chat. So feel free to to add your question during the the conference, the webinar, and uh, if it's a context question, we will uh, answer as soon as possible. Uh, otherwise, we will uh, we will provide you the, the response at the end. So. Um, Maybe someone can tell tell us if uh, if it's okay for the for the sound. Do you do you hear us or not? I think that's good. I hope. Okay. So uh, just in a few words, uh, I'm M. Ivan Klibo. I'm co-founder of Pantalog, uh, this uh, this service company. Um, uh, I'm, I have an experience, 25 years of experience. Uh, on the IT, we have uh, some responsibilities of CIO, CTO, and so on. Amen. And I'm Amen Shekari, uh, PhD in machine learning and artificial intelligence, and I'm uh, the data scientist of Metalog. And also, I'm a researcher. I work now on uh, blockchain uh, problematics, uh, especially in uh, the transaction validation. Okay. So uh, the topic of this of this webinar is how blockchain will accelerate innovation. Uh, I think that uh, a lot of attendees here uh, hear something about blockchain. Uh, but before, some, some words uh, about uh, the, the situation. It's not a, a big scoop. We are in a transformation. Uh, every day there is new ways to new businesses. Uh, if we compare our digital conception uh, from uh, uh, seven or ten years ago, there is a lot of change, a lot of change about uh, uh, for, for the people and uh, and the same thing for uh, for the professional. So in this case, there is uh, new requirements. Okay, we will uh, we will speak about uh, blockchain, but for for this innovation, do not imagine. The blockchain, it's only the, on the financial part. It's not only Bitcoin. Uh, f forgot the, the link between, between both. Uh, so, because this technology will, uh, will support a lot of things, new things, and we'll explain that in the second part uh, with, uh, with I main in this conference. With the, with the changes, there is uh, some requirements. And the first of that from all, from the people is the trust, because there is a lot of data, there is a lot of personal data. You everybody uh, generates every day uh, a lot of data, so you need trust about that, uh, and you need trust about all the things that you can do on the the digital services. Next. It's the transparency. The people need transparency, more transparency. Uh, most transparency about production, about traceability, and, and about transactions as well. Uh, because if you consume some services and you cannot understand or explain what happened behind, not only on technical parts, but, but what the, the, the provider will, will do about data, it's difficult to accept that at the moment. The next, it's disintermediation. In fact, we, we have to imagine, uh, we, it's difficult to accept uh, the old the traditional ways. Uh, uh, because when you purchase something, there is a traditional way, uh, when you consume a service, there is a, uh, behind a lot of things, uh, and you need to change that to reduce the gap, the distance between 
the, the, the your consumer and the producer. So trust, transparency, and data mediation. It's three new requirements uh, about the, the the expectations from the people. Now a few words about the impact. Uh, it's difficult to to choose uh, the, the the ways where there is an impact because it's on the 360 degrees. So, of course, an impact on the business. Uh, there is an example from uh, uh, with the Bitcoin. There is some new change uh, on the financial part as well. And for the people. And for the people as well uh, because the, the expression of the people will be able to change uh, with the, the, this uh, with the consumption uh, of the of the IT of the service the digital services and uh, the expression uh, in the current life and about implementation uh, okay the, the first one uh, about this technology is the blockchain uh, uh, not the blockchain the bitcoin uh, with the, the crypto cryptocurrency. So, uh, it's uh, the, the first the first layer where the people can imagine what we can do with, uh, with the blockchain. But it's not enough because we can do a lot of things with, uh, uh, with, uh, with this technology. And, uh, of course, well, another, uh, uh, another uh, implementation is Ethereum with a smart contract. It's a new, uh, uh, it's a new, a new mean for uh, for the consumption of the of the blockchain. So first stage Bitcoin, uh, the blockchain, and now the 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 smart contract. And all of that to uh, to to understood why there is some requirements for this technology. First one, uh, it's the cryptography. We cannot implement. Uh, blockchain without the the cryptography. So uh, uh, at the moment we can. Uh, wh why the the blockchain right now? It's because the the progression, the the maturity of the cryptography is enough. The next stage. It's uh, the computing power on of and uh, sorry and uh, the computing. Uh, and the storage. So we need this power. We need this power because it, with the cryptography, uh, uh, it's mandatory to to ensure the the inviolability of the of the technology. The third requirement is the the community. Of course, you, you can uh, you can decide to implement. Uh, blockchain technology on a private environment or public environment, but you need a community. Do you manage a community or it is an open community? It depends on, on the case, but you need to distribute uh, the, the compute uh, expected for, for the technology. So, of course, uh, there is risk. Uh, because a new technology, there is risk because there is a lot of unknown things, unknown things. Uh, so, uh, but it is the, uh, the advantage. It is an opportunity. Another risk, uh, another risk, it's uh, uh, the the quantum computing, because with the quantum computing. You can get a lot of digital power, and it is a risk for the for the cryptography. Another risk is about the the regulation. Uh, if you if you need to change one of the uh, one part of a business, the regulation can be a big a big uh, impediment for for this uh, for this new business. So, uh, of course. There is always uh, uh, a, a cursor. A cursor. At the moment, I cannot explain you if uh, 
the cursor is on the left side, on the right side, uh, but we are always in a phase of prehistory of the future. So, with the, uh, with the blockchain, we have to, to invent the new uses uh, of the blockchain. The new uses, not only for the financial services, uh, but for everything, for, for the for the for, for the votes, for the for financial, of course, for the production, for everything when we need and durability and security, uh, enforced security uh, for the data. But we need to, to adapt <laughs> our uh, existing services or invent a new one for uh, uh, with this technology. And, uh, of course, the, the, the last word for, uh, for this introduction, uh, it's about the innovation. Of course, we did not imagine uh, uh, to, to open new doors with old ways, uh, but with innovation, we can uh, ensure the durability of the, of the company, and uh, the blockchain uh, will, uh, will ensure this uh, this capability for, for new services. So it was my introduction about uh, the blockchain. Uh, I will let uh, Amen to, to continue for the second stage. Okay, hello again. So, uh, okay, so what is this new technology? Is it a bu new buzzword like uh, machine learning, but big data, or it's really a, a revolution? So the blockchain is a, a global distributed ledger which uh, facilitates uh, the movement of assets across the world in a few seconds and uh, with only uh, minimal transaction fees. Uh, and uh, these assets can uh, be any type of value uh, as long as uh, the they can be uh, digitally represented. So, uh, this is a simplified illustration uh, about the blockchain network. A um, member of a network called Node um, uh, holds uh, hold, uh, a chain of blocks uh, which uh, contains uh, um, uh, a, a history of uh, uh, the all transactions uh, performed in the network, and every block uh, has uh, is, uh, holds a set of transactions, which uh, the which uh, size depends on how many transactions uh, were completed in a given uh, uh, time interval. So, how it does work. Uh, I will explain the different steps to uh, to transmit transaction from a sender to a receiver. So the first step is the transaction definition. The sender creates transaction and transmits it uh, to the network. Uh, and the tra transaction message uh, contains information about the, the receiver uh, public uh, key uh, or address, um, the nature of the of the value of the transaction and uh, which is the most important is uh, a cryptographic signature, uh, a cryptographic digital signature uh, which will be used to prove the, the authenticity of, uh, of the transaction. So the second step is the transaction auth authentication. Uh, the nodes uh, or the computer, the, the computers or user of the network receive the message and then uh, authenticate um, the, 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 the validity of the message by decrypting uh, the cryptographic signature and, um, and then uh, the authenti authenticated transaction is uh, placed in a, a pool of uh, pending uh, uh, transaction. Uh, and after that, we have uh, the, the, the third step is the block creation. So these pending uh, transactions are put together uh, in, uh, in an update version of the ledger, which is uh, called a block. And uh, then um, this creation is made by one node of the network, 
uh, who broadcasts this block to the network for the validation. So the the set number four is the block validation, uh, which is made by uh, different nodes of the network called minor. And uh, these different nodes uh, work to validate um, uh, this uh, block through an iterative process to solve a cryptographic, pro a cryptogra cryptographic equation or a problem. And, uh, and after that, uh, they use different techniques for validation. Uh, there is different uh, techniques, for example, uh, depending on the net of blockchain, for, uh, for uh, Bitcoin blockchains, the technique is called proof of uh, proof of work. For uh, Ripple, for, for example, uh, the technique is called uh, um, distributed consensus. For Ethereum, uh, they use uh, the proof of stake. And uh, the, these various techniques, these various techniques uh, have uh, different uh, pros and cons. But uh, the common point and the common denominator is that ensure that every transaction is valid and uh, and uh, and make a fraudulent transaction impossible. And the last step is uh, uh, when all transactions are uh, are validated and the block is validating is uh, it is uh, broadcast to it is chained to to the blockchain. So it's added to the, the last uh, the last block, and uh, the, the 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 current state of the blockchain is broadcast uh, to uh, all nodes of the network. So uh, uh, from this process, we can uh, deduce different properties of the blockchain. The first property is the disintermediation because uh, here we, the, the, the disintermediation comes from uh, the, um, the, the validation made by a majority consensus which replaces the centralized validation. So here, uh, technically, uh, uh, using different techniques for... Uh, for, for uh, the block validations uh, will uh, delete the need of a third part uh, for validation. Uh, a good example for uh, these properties is the website uh, Proof of Existence, uh, which is um, proofofexistence.org, which is used uh, to, uh, to prove the possession of a document at uh, a given instant T, and uh, that this document is not uh, modified at uh, T plus N, for example. So there is a lot of uh, project of, and a new project uh, for different startups uh, about uh, the design, uh, using blockchain to uh, to benefits uh, of, of uh, this uh, this uh, important uh, property. The second property is uh, the security. Here, uh, due to uh, its uh, decentralized architectures. Uh, we have, we guarantee uh, the, um, the reliability and uh, the durability, uh, and which is a very, very important uh, property because we have uh, um, the inviolability by design. Uh, and uh, this comes from two technical points. The first point that um, um, every, the, the, um, the, the statue of the blockchain is broadcast to uh, to, uh, to different nodes in uh, the network. And the second uh, property is that the code of each block is built in uh, the code of the last blocks. So to modify blocks needs to modify all previous blocks, which is impossible. Uh, the third property is uh, the autonomy. Uh, the creation of cryptocurrency pays for infrastructure costs. Uh, miners, which allows part of uh, computing power, are paid. Uh, they they can uh, win uh, tokens, which the nature uh, depends on, uh, with the value depends on the nature of the blockchain. And this uh, uh, this competition between miners uh, let them to invest uh, in uh, a high uh, 
a high level of power uh, for uh, in uh, the power of computing or uh, or memory. Another good example for this is a bit chair with. Uh, with a platform uh, of, uh, of uh, tra trading and uh, using uh, Bitcoin, and uh, they succeed to to, uh, to do uh, more than 100,000 uh, transactions in a second, which is a very uh, high performance. The so what can you explain about smart contracts? Okay. Now, uh, I, will, I will enter... Uh, uh, in how we can innovate with the blockchain. Smart contracts is, uh, is uh, a key, is an important key to, uh, to innovation because it's a new concept. Uh, what is smart contract? Is um, a computer program with a conditional structure, uh, like if then, if then condition, and it applies contracts uh, when uh, given a Parameters are uh, are met. For example, uh, a high uh, frequency trading algorithms uh, uh, to verify uh, the value of an asset uh, x uh, when uh, it exceeds uh, the, the threshold y. For example, and uh, the the consequence of the smart contracts is the smart property because it constitutes a bridge between the virtual and the physics and uh, and let us. Uh, uh, allows us transfer not only of uh, material uh, material assets but also immaterial assets. So the smart contracts deploy all the power of blockchain, fluidity, and security. Uh, we can imagine, for example, a startup A which is, is, signs uh, contracts with uh, uh, another uh, startup B specialized in uh, the ACU, and uh, the term of uh, contracts uh, can be the goals to uh, to reach, uh, for example, uh, appear in the first page of Google for uh, such query, and uh, and the payment uh, the payment is uh, is done automatically when uh, the goals are reached. Uh, and after the smart contracts, yes, what after the smart contracts? Yeah, what DAO? Yeah, is the DAO the decentralized autonomous organization? which constitute a coordination instrument. What is decentralized organized automons is also a computing program uh, which sells uh, and manage uh, on the blockchain the different rules to, to, to manage an organization. Uh, it can be uh, seen like a matrix uh, of uh, multiple smart contracts in rows and columns. So, uh, the decentralized uh, organization autonomous make the manage the make the, the managing an organization automatically secure and uh, and uh, and we can uh, we can transfer all the properties of blockchain to the organization which are disintermediation autonomy security and transparency uh, there is uh, two good examples of the center of the AO uh, boardroom, which is the uh, uh, specialized of uh, board uh, directors, and Open Bazaar, uh, which is also uh, a small marketplace uh, like uh, Le Bon Coin or uh, or Craigslist, the, the the English version of the, 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 the Bon Coin. And they use uh, DAU uh, to, uh, th th there is uh, two DAU and uh, they are using uh, a lot of smart contracts to manage their organization. So what could be the benefits, benefits for innovation with the blockchain? Okay, let's go. So uh, there is a lot of benefits for innovation and the, the, those benefits are consequence of the different properties we have uh, seen. So the first benefit is the disintermediation and the trustless exchange. Two parties can uh, can make an exchange without without uh, without a third party or an intermediary. Uh, the, uh, the other uh, benefits which I uh, consider it very important is the high quality of data of the blockchain. The blockchain data are consistent, are uh, complete, 
are uh, accurate, are timely and widely available. Uh, another uh, another uh, benefit is the integrity of the process, uh, and also we have trusted records keeping and uh, shared trusted process. So those benefits uh, can lead to uh, different use cases, uh, which are, which uh, which are not only in the financial case, but in all uh, field of the, the industry today, like uh, healthcare, uh, telecommunication, uh, media. I will take an example. Uh, for example, for, the, for uh, this intermediation, uh, consider the, the music industry, uh, where, uh, where intermediary, uh, intermediaries uh, capture uh, all the value and uh, the artists are... Uh, uh, get paid uh, last. Now with uh, companies like Mycelia, I, I don't know if you, you have heard about, uh, they have de developed uh, uh, smart sanks or intelligent sanks built in a smart uh, contract. And uh, now the artist can sell uh, directly to the consumers without uh, going through uh, a label or a financial uh, intermediaries or a technology company. Blockchain ecosystem. Uh, okay, uh, now uh, the blockchain became more mature and mature, and uh, there is uh, an ecosystem which is uh, improved uh, every day. The first layer is um, the layer of blockchain. We have different now different blockchain. The list is not exhaustive. We have Bitcoin, which is specialized uh, for. Um, for uh, uh, cryptocurrency use case. We have Ethereum, which is uh, specialized in um, the decentralized application with the notion of smart contracts. Mm, the blockchain Muse, which is very used uh, for uh, the, um, the copyright, uh, for the copyright paid. Uh, we have now Hyperledger of uh, uh, IBM. And, uh, and all this... Um, this first layer, we have a technological layer which constitutes uh, different services like uh, Ripple, uh, Factum, uh, Eni the, the Enigma project of the MIT. And uh, those projects uh, analyze the, the different information uh, contained in the blockchain and transform it to the service. And uh, the third layer is the different application uh, built on the blockchain which constitutes the blockchain as a, as a service. And the last, uh, the last uh, layer is uh, the layer constituted by the different user state uh, uh, and uh, organization, uh, company, organization, company, people. Uh, private people. And okay. Now uh, I want to talk about Ethereum because Ethereum is the blockchain dedicated to develop uh, decentralized application. Uh, and uh, it, uh, it disrupted uh, the, um, the data centers because with, um, with Ethereum, everyone is like uh, the smart grid. He is producer and consumer of the energy. So it's an analogy, but everyone can, uh, can uh, use, can, uh, can profit from uh, his own smart contracts and can also uh, use the other smart contracts of the other to, to develop their, uh, their application. So it's a very, very um, important blockchain, I consider, to, to develop smart, uh, smart and decentralized application and smart contracts. And I will talk uh, about uh, the, um, the proof of uh, concept done by uh, Samsung and IBM, which is called ADEPT. ADEPT, which is uh, autonomous, decentralized peer-to-peer -peer telemetry, and uh, they want to uh, to combine the potentials uh, of blockchain with Internet of Things because they can consider uh, there is a lot a lot of things to do uh, when combining combining the two the two technology because today we have a lot a lot of uh, connected um, connected object and we have a lot of data and uh, the the Internet of Things constitute, constitute uh, a base for, uh, 
for uh, the smart contract to activate the different smart contract. You can imagine a different a few case, for example, to, uh, to sell um, a house with, uh, with uh, a connected uh, lock, for example. Uh, we have a lot, a lot of plethora of use cases. So I will pass to the use case. So uh, we have financial use case. Uh, Isla Fox in uh, the banking domain uh, can uh, include uh, uh, across borders payments, the trading platform, behavior, behavior, um, customer behavior analysis. We can also, um, uh, you, uh, we have a lot of projects about peer-to-peer uh, -peer transfers and currency exchange, also in the field of gaming with a project like PlayCoin, Play, DeckBound. And it's on your port. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but beyond the financial project, uh, we have a lot of non-financial use case which outnumber uh, the financial use case in a lot and a lot of uh, in uh, different uh, fields like um, healthcare, uh, marketplace, uh, telecommunication, uh, authentication, security, uh, app development, real estate. We have a lot, a lot of uh, non-financial use cases. So that means that uh, uh, blockchain has not only uh, a potential in uh, for cryptocurrencies and financial use case, but has a lot, a lot uh, of uh, potential, especially in different uh, fields of the industry, especially when it is combined with the, the Internet of Things. But can we include blockchain in all the software projects? No. <laughs> no, that's what I will... So the blockchain is not uh, suitable for all projects. Uh, we have uh, a checklist uh, to verify uh, because uh, if you we need only, uh, for example, a database, we we don't uh, we don't have uh, to use blockchain uh, only to to store information or uh, uh, so. Um, the negative indicators include uh, need high performance. We are millisecond transaction because. Uh, when we have uh, a cryptographic program to solve, we will, uh, we will take a few times. So if we have transactions of a millisecond, the blockchain is not suitable for this project. For small organization or uh, which, which uh, they not have business at work, uh, if we are looking for a database replacement, it's not a solution because today we have a mixture. It's a big trap. Yeah, we have a, a mixture of uh, solution for this. Uh, looking for transaction processing replacement, all these um, indicators are negative, and uh, we don't have to use blockchain if we we, we are looking for this. Some advices. Uh, so uh, some I I. Um, I write uh, always different articles about uh, the blockchain technologies. Uh, I have written uh, an article which is called the Vining the Boyless Blockchain Project. Uh, so the blockchain checklist, bl blockchain is a technology of database, of shared database with multiple writers. Uh, they uh, did not trust each other. Uh, these intermediations, we, we, mu we, ha we must have interaction uh, between transactions, and we have different rules to, to manage this. So I will let you the last uh, <laughs> the last part. <laughs> the last conclusion word. for me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, Amen explained a lot of things uh, about blockchain, about use case, about the traps, uh, and so on. Uh, in fact, you understood we are a software company. And we can support uh, our client for the implementation. A right implementation, a true implementation uh, of the blockchain the project when it's really necessary. So we explained uh, what are the, the main properties uh, of the of this technology. We cannot implement that for anything, but for, for the right things. So uh, we, we can suggest you to, uh, to 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 continue discussion about your project. Um, uh, to, to assess the agility of the project uh, on the blockchain. We are at the beginning of the new world, uh, new world with this technology. Uh, so we can help you to, uh, to do that. 
And uh, if you have uh, some questions, we are here at the moment to, to give you some response, and we have a lot of, uh, of responses. Uh, otherwise, we can uh, we can share uh, time during a call to, to 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 talk about your project. So, uh, at this time, do, do you have some uh, some question about uh, our presentation? Uh, you, you can uh, you can complete your uh, you can type your question in the in the chat. Feel free to, to to add some questions. There is no question at the moment. Uh, ah, one question: um, uh, How to to implement a blockchain? Can you explain the the first the first uh, path to do for an implementation of the blockchain? How to implement a blockchain? Yeah. Uh, so uh, there is two uh, two uh, two pieces. Uh, we have to uh, to make a decision if we will use uh, a blockchain, uh, an existing blockchain, or we will develop a blockchain mm -hmm. from scratch. So I think today it's not. Uh, we don't need to 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 develop a, mm -hmm. uh, to develop a blockchain from scratch because there is a lot of mature blockchain like Ethereum, Hyperledger, uh, the blockchain of Microsoft Azure, for example, and uh, we have different uh, services. But we ha there is today um, a development uh, an ecosystem for the development uh, for implementing uh, the di um, uh, different projects on the blockchain, and. Uh, and we have a lot of tools to uh, to uh, to program decentralized applications uh, on ethereum there is a lot a lot of uh, of uh, of tools of uh, ide and uh, and we can download this ide uh, so your first advice is to use a, a bcs blockchain yeah. as a service yeah we can solution. use yeah we can use blockchain as a, as a service solution for example ipolage is, is very uh, very very easy to to uh, to, uh, to to do, but um, for Ethereum, which I uh, I uh, I always advise to use Ethereum uh, as a beginning because mm -hmm. we can see the different steps of uh, um, of uh, the SR, the transaction validations, the mining. We can there is a good ecosystem uh, to 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 learn this uh, implementation. Okay. As a question. Uh, can you explain the difference between a public blockchain and a private blockchain? Uh, public blockchain is the, the first blockchain, the first concept of blockchain. The blockchain was made to be public at the beginning uh, to solve the double spending problem and uh, to, to let uh, possible uh, an exchange of uh, an, uh, an exchange of an asset between two parts without uh, without using uh, a third party or a party of trusting and uh, uh, after that uh, we can use which we call private public uh, that uh, which is uh, it's, which is a blockchain, it's the same thing of a uh, private blockchain, but the access, uh, the, the, um, we give the access in, uh, in uh, a, a, a private set of uh, nodes to, uh, to have the copy of the blockchains, mm -hmm. and not all uh, members of the networks have uh, the right to, to, uh, to have this copy of the blockchains. So, so there is a difference between public and private blockchain. Okay. Another question. Feel free to, to continue to add some questions. Um, uh, I'm working in a health company that provides health solution. Uh, can you explain how to be sure that anyone, if it's public blockchain, yeah. how to be sure that anyone can read the, the data? How? How to be sure that? Yeah, that anyone can read the data cannot read the data. If I'm working on a public yeah. blockchain? Yeah, of course. Yeah. How, uh, how I am sure that not every member of, uh, every member of the network yeah. can, re can read the data? Yeah. And which, which kind of data? The data... I don't know the question. Elf. Elf. It's an elf company. What is the question? Uh, elf company. Oh, so, I try to imagine. There is a, a blockchain with a, a public public blockchain. Okay. And there is data. 
mm? inside from uh, personal data from anyone. Okay. okay? And th those data are stored in the blockchain? Yeah. Okay. How can you be sure that anyone can read data if it's a public blockchain? Or everybody can read the data? How can I... What, what you want? You want that you can read the data or you, you cannot... How to be sure that everyone cannot read... Ah. How to be sure that everyone yeah. cannot yeah. Uh, read, read the data? Bec uh, if the data is public, mm -hmm. so every member of the, the networks have a copy of the, yeah. the total blockchain. So they can see the information stored in the different blocks mm -hmm. of the blockchain. But if you want to, to do this using public blockchain, mm -hmm. you have to develop Uh, which we call uh, a smart contract, for example, on this public blockchain, to give uh, to give the rights or to uh, different members that you want uh, to access to this data and using what we call uh, oracle to communicate with, with the external world. Mm -hmm. Okay, no question anymore. So if there is no question, we we can stop here. Thanks a lot for, uh, for your attention during this, uh, this webinar. Thanks a lot for your questions. Uh, and, uh, of course, we'll, uh, we'll be able to, to get this, uh, this webinar uh, on, the, on the replay. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Have a nice evening. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.